are the top of the art museum steps. Once in a while, I spend hours, maybe sometimes days, doing research on videos. And today, guess what? I didn't do any research. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk. Turn around. Turn around. I'm gonna walk the Ben Franklin Parkway. This is a Professor, Professor Captain's pandemic art course. Here's our first work of art. Ooh, I haven't heard the jazz song in a while. Good. You see this, this back here, that's his parachute. It did not deploy. And he, he, he's starting to fall to his death. He's one of those wackadoo uh, sky surfers. Like, he just doesn't sky surf. You ever see those sky surfers? Sky surfers? Why am I calling them sky surfers? You know those uh, sky divers that, you, you know, sometimes they, like, go, they ride, like, a surfboard instead of skydiving. With this guy, it looks like he rides giant dildos. And while he's riding down his big dildo, he realizes his parachute is not going to deploy and and because he's just pure evil this guy he's going to choke out an eagle uh before he dies so this is called the world's angriest skydiver all right let's see what's going on with the rocky statue There he is. Very muddy here. Not good. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Where you from? Huh? I'm, I'm from his neighborhood. Who? His neighborhood. Okay, where's that? Where is that? Where's Rocky from? Yeah. Uh oh. I'm not. I'm not here to give you. You want a picture with him? No, no, no. I'm just taking a video of him. You know how it goes. There it is. Back of Rocky. You have a uh, Merry Christmas. A happy 2021. Hopefully we'll see you soon. And, well, no, I think I'll be wearing this for a while anyway. But I was going to say, maybe next time I won't have a mask on. But that, that. So that, that is called uh, the Washington Monument. It looks much different than the Washington Monument in uh, Washington, D.C. That is, uh, well, I call them, uh, I think they're called, what are they called? Oh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're called, uh, not Apocalypse. Oh, I don't know what they're called. Whenever I go to cemeteries and I see Washington Monument, I don't call them what they're called. I call them baby Washington Monument. And now I don't know what the hell. So anyway, this Washington Monument doesn't look like the other Washington Monument. This is the uh, site of the homeless encampment that were, they were here for, uh, oh, five months. And uh, right in front of us, where all these trees are, this I would say this is where the majority of the people were encamped. Uh, looks like I know a few people asked me to go back to see what was going on in the field. Uh, it looks like they did some uh, landscaping, got it repaired. You still can't go on the field. They have this fenced off. It was getting really big. It was getting, it was, it was expanding every time I came to it. Um, and uh, last time you see the street in front of me where the, this car this guy went down this street. Uh, I think this is 
18th? Who knows? 22nd. Not even close. Not even in the, the right tens. So, last time I was here, this whole section was was closed off. And this is the uh, the Rodin Museum. And this is still fenced off. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's as fenced off as you uh, want it to be, but there it is, the Rodan Thinker. What do you think he's thinking about? And then you gotta think about it. He's like... He's so deep in thought, his toes are clenched. But he doesn't look like he's in... I think he's thinking about a Charlie horse. That's it, a Charlie horse. This is why I, I, uh, I love my city. We got all these homeless people here, right? Behind the statue over here. They got sweaters. They got sweaters on the tree. I don't know. Sometimes I think money and time. I mean, I guess it's art, right? Right. I guess everybody needs a little bit of art in their life. But I don't see know. the homeless person cold while the tree's warm makes me, uh, I don't know, makes me wonder. You know, this is a good church, so this should have a nice. Let's see. Let's see what kind of we got. Oh, these guys are ceramic. How you doing, Mary? Joseph. Sculpture, uh, and, you know, it's kind of controversial because it's it's right next to the the big Catholic church here. But this is called the G spot, and if you look closely, it will show you where the G spot is on a woman. And if you ever need instructions, and if you're ever looking for the G spot, just know it's right there, right? Right. Little behind the scenes mummer action. I never really see this spot unless it's New Year's Day and I have to take a piss. Uh, everybody usually pisses in this, uh, whatever this is, this little spot of land. So, yeah, this is where, you're like, when the mummers get ready to start set up, this is where they set up at. They get ready to go down marching down Broad. Yo! C-A, uh, the A stands for Alexander, the C stands for Calder. 1968 is the year. Let's take a look at this. Now the cool, well, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with here. You know, it kind of looks like a dog's ass in the air. Yeah, I guess it's a dog. There's no dog body. That's the dog's nose. That's the dog's tail. That's what that is, I guess. So anyway, the, the thing about this statue is the guy who made that statue on top of that building there at City Hall. Uh, that was his grandfather made that statue. And down the street here at Logan Circle, his dad, his dad made the fountain at Logan Circle and he had, he contributed. Looks like a crashed airplane now. I guess it all depends on perspective. So. Three generations of the uh, Calder family. I really think they have this laid out wrong. You 
see this barricade? This barricade shouldn't be here. There's nothing there. The barricade should be back more. It's so goddamn crowded here. I guess they, you know. But then they got all these stupid. Uh, oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Sorry. They got all these handrails in the way. They should take them down for Christmas. I mean, who the hell's using these steps? Not well thought out. You see this? These are the guys all waiting in line to take a piss in that little lot back there around the corner. There really are like 30 guys in there sometimes. <sighs> hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. It's never too late to get a Christmas gift. Well, if you order it now, you ain't gonna get it till probably mid-January. So it's always, it's always good to think about Martin Luther King Day. So if you're looking for a Martin Luther King Day gift, I highly recommend you look at my merch. Uh, uh, if you want to help me out, there's a link below to my Patreon. And uh, I guess that's it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And oh, this is going to take me forever. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles.